All right, I got another pile <clears throat> we're going to look at. And I can tell off the bat that is not worth our time. Screw top it is. This is kind of interesting. Don't know what exactly what it is, but we found it kind of fascinating to nonetheless uh, save. Interesting. Got a little screw top thing that goes around. Not sure. We'll move on. I got a door hinge. It would have bolt lock type thing that we've gone through there. Oh look, we've got this a bottom half of with the kitty cat, a little uh, little uh, baby doll. Whether it was like someone's little play thing or if it was like a little statue that sat in the window. But oh hey, right over here, looks like the head of the little person. Right there, check that out. Cool, you could just glue that back on. But we found it broke, you can tell, because this, look at the rust stains on it. Must have been broke, fell down, got broke. Little kid probably screamed its head off. And uh, anyway, they threw it in the garbage. Very cool. Got a little headband on with their, like say, little cat. All right, moving on. I don't know what that is. Some of these things were just kind of interesting. Oh, look, patent end date, February, look like 13th, 1866. For whatever that was patented for, I have no idea. Interesting. All right, moving on. Oh, there's one of those little uh, nails. I have to tell the story about that. I've got a whole bunch of them over here that I'm going to, I found out today. I did some research to see what uh, what they were, and, you know, for sure. And now I know. Don't know what that is. Interesting. Keys, newer. That, oh, that one's an older one right there. Got that one. Kind of interesting to do some research on those. I can keep that one out. Another one of those nails. And I realized that the little numbers on them are actually not the pole number, but they are actually the year. I'll tell you a little bit more about them. Why there is years on these little uh, nails. You got a 31, so that would be 1931. Oh, another, so many another's glasses. Imagine them looking out, peering the world back in the day when they were walking around, walking around the city, looking at people, seeing life. And now that person is gone, but yet the thing they looked out and peered out through is still here and handling. I've blown their brain <laughs> to know that we'd be doing this type of stuff with all their uh, their items. Yep, there's more stoppers. We found tons of stoppers. More. Another one. Another. Oh, look. There's one with the little cork. Amber one. Mm -hmm. Oh, now we're getting into fancier ones. We'll look at these by themselves. All right, I think I got all the stoppers besides those. Oh, there's another one. That one's a later on one because it has like the little screw into the, the bottle. Turn the century. So these ones here would have been someone's fine liquor that they had in their little case. And you can see one's already purple turning purple with the sun because of the impurities in the, the glass. But yeah, these would have been their high-end uh, drinks that they had in their little cut hutch at their house that uh, people would come over and they'd just have a glass of the fine liquor. Another top. 
you know, some of this is mixed in with the newer stuff. So I gotta weed through it. Cause we just kind of, when we come home, we just kind of chuck all the stuff in there together. Some of it was newer, some of it was older. Oh, check that one out. That's kind of a newer, that's like a, oh, it's somebody's name. Check it out. Kenneth J. Allred. Kenneth J. Allred got this made. Let's take a look, there's something on the back. Oh, got it upside down. Torpedo Man, huh? He must have been in the Army or the Navy. Uh, Sterling. Hmm. Maybe this Kenneth got this made overseas and monogrammed because he was the Torpedo Man. Maybe he was on a, a submarine. I know a person at my work that their boy is actually in a submarine. Not right now. He's out of water right now, but yeah. So this guy, he must have been the torpedo man. He must have been on the subs, probably in the, judging by this, I don't think it's super old. I think it's like the Second World War. Kenneth J. Allred. It'd be fun to find that person, to be able to see if you can find it and give it back to the family. Cool. All right, let's look through. Oh, we got another little brooch of some sort. Hmm. I don't know what that is. Oh, another. I was telling you about, and I've showed you in the other ones. These are look like uh, oh buttons that were used put on uh, for mourning for uh, like when somebody passed away. You'd have uh, black, and your buttons would be like this. That's what that is. A funeral attire. Buttons, buttons, buttons. Look at all the buttons in here. Oh, here. I probably told you about this. I'm going to tell you again. These are abalone shells. Look how pretty that is. That would be nice on a dress or item. Look at how pretty that is. A lot of your buttons were either made of porcelain, or they're made out of bone, or they're made out of uh, out of uh, shells. Like this one, this is a shell button. There's, there's another shell button right here. You can always tell the shell buttons because they're usually pretty, uh, have like a little play of color on them. Glass buttons. What else we got? I don't know what that is. That almost looks like a, this thing here almost looks like a, a watch fob right there. I don't know what that is. A little end to a, to a suspender. I don't look 30s or 40s uh, uh, Fisher beer uh, little uh, pull tab. Or a little uh, crown top uh, puller. Little watch. Uh, little thing winder right there at the top of it. Right here. Looks like a, almost like a badge or something. Not much left in it. Oh, got another patent or a little uh, suspender. What does this one say? Can tab. Can tab, a uh, little uh, suspender piece. Another suspender piece. A C. Oh, look. An army button. This one looks like it's probably from World War Two, maybe? I don't know, I have to do, may I put that aside so I can learn a little bit more about that button. Same with this button, look at that one. I have to do research on the maker and the, what date, what time that would put that in. But definitely, Army. 
another little token. This one's like one of those little uh, tax ones. I don't know if I can. You can read it. I have to look at it a little bit better. I don't know why they gave all these out. It must have been during the war time or something that they gave uh, these out for, to people. And they definitely made it out of aluminum because I'm sure that at that time, metal was being used for the war. So they had to make them out of these uh, aluminum stuff that they wouldn't need for bullets. Let's see what else we got. I don't know what that is. Oh, that's another tag. Cheaper tag, though. Leslie. It's got a little thing on there. Upside down. What is it? Red Goose Shoes. Huh. Maybe it was a thing that they were uh, giving out or something. A little, uh, little uh, advertisement. Who knows? Again, not super old. Oh, here's a little lantern thing. Usually on them, on the little uh, turn dial, you can see a patent date. But yeah. Little owl that would have been sitting on some type of uh, jar or some type of uh, vase. Who? Who did you belong to? Oh, check out that. That's cool. I'm not sure, like a button or something. Really fancy, look at it. Huh. Fancy, fancy. Suspenders again. Who knows, maybe to Levi's. Another uh, little uh, key. Does that say Ford on there? It looks like Ford. Don't know, oh, so I got a, must have been to a Mustang. All right, let's continue looking. Another suspender piece. Security. It'll secure your pants from falling down. Oh, I used to love these as a kid. I'd find these in ghost towns. These are little porcelain things. They came in different patterns, but they were, oh, I love them. I'd find them. I've got, I'll find some when we're going along, probably different patterns, but yeah, I loved them because they weren't, they weren't just like these other ones. My mom loved the buttons and we'd go collect them because she loved to collect buttons. And anyway, but yeah, when I'd find something like that, that was just unique. I even like these ones. These were kind of cool. The little ribbed. All the rest of them are just kind of plain, you know, porcelain buttons. Cowboy buttons, nothing fancy about it. Oh, and this one was probably off of some uh, jeans, some workwear for the mines, the miners. What else we got? Let's see if we see any more. Another suspender part. Oh, right here. We got this. Someone's little doll leg. That would have been a fancy doll. Look at that leg. Chubby leg, too. Not like today. Little skinny little things. Nope. They appreciated the, the actual normal person. Like one pound or something? Seven? I don't know. Something, something there. But yeah, no. Back in the day, this would have been someone's uh, Christmas Either that or someone's little gift for, for their uh, present. Yeah, pretty. Wonder what the rest of the doll looked like. Oh, another hinge. Pretty. Decorative. More suspender parts. Another little suspender part. That had a little decoration on it. Oh, little case, little, uh, what is it, a makeup case type thing. 
The funny thing about it is, you see that little little thing that looks like it's been burnt? Yeah. <laughs> Back in the 80s, yeah, that got touched on to some live wire type thing, and it uh, burnt, it basically melted that metal. Ask me how I know that. I was a bad boy. Yeah, more of that. All right. Well, all I see is buttons and uh, keys. I think we'll move on to the the next batch. Hang on.